Now the complex number question in paper 1, 2022. 20, so show that z minus iz is equal to 8 minus 4a. So all they've simply done there is given me the answer. Um, so when I work out the sum, I should get 8 minus 4a. So z is equal to 6 plus 2a. So I'm going to sub that in. So 6 plus 2a minus a times my z, 6 plus 2a is equal to 8 minus 4a. And hope to God both match up. One thing that's very important, a squared is minus 1, or you might see a is the square root of minus 1 as well, which is the same thing. So tidy that up. Multiplying this out, minus 6a minus and a plus is a minus 2a squared. Once I see my a squared, the alarm bells start ringing. And tidy that up once again, I get 6 plus 2a minus 6a plus 2 is equal to 8 minus 4a. And I'm going to tidy that up finally, make real parts together, 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus 2a minus 6a is minus 4a. 8 minus 4a is equal to 8 minus 4a. Jobs are good. Next one. So there's only so much they can ask you in complex numbers. They generally ask you, and this applies to both higher and ordinary level. There's the modulus. And in order to do the modulus, which is coming up here, it's the square root of a squared plus b squared, or the square root of real plus the imaginary, just the coefficients in, the, in them. Um, there's division of complex numbers, where you multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. And then, on a higher level, the additional thing there is the Moivre's theorem. So, here, show that the modulus of z squared. So, the modulus of z, I'm going to sub in 6 plus 2a. Plus iz, which I worked out up here. iz, I worked out minus iz, but anyway, iz, if you want to work it out, it's i times 6 plus 2a gives me 6a plus 2a squared. And when I tidy that up, I get 6a, remember, sub in my minus 1, I get minus 2 plus 6a. So the modulus of minus 2 plus 6a is equal to z minus iz, which I did work up here. So z minus iz is to be 8 minus 4a. And that's good as well, because if I did make a hame to the first bit, I could still do my second bit, because they give me the answer up the top line to be 8 minus 4a squared. So, and to work out the modulus, it's the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, my real bit there is 6, so 6 squared plus my 2 squared. Same thing over here, the square root of minus 2 squared plus 6 squared is equal to a squared, 8 squared plus minus 4 squared. Just have to be careful here, work that out. 36 plus 4 is the square root of 40. Um, your calculator might give you a different answer than that there. Next one is 4 plus 36 square root of 40 once again is equal to 64 plus 16 squared of 80. I'm just running short in space here, so I have to kind of do two steps in one. Then one thing to note, it says the square of those. The square of those. So the square root of 40 squared. 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 Square root of 40 squared, just get rid of the square root. 40 plus 40 is equal to 80. 80 is equal to 80. Jobs are good. Or 2 from 2. Now, I don't like to look at this. A circle question, geometry question, I don't know, is thrown into complex numbers. So the circle C passes through the point Z, and Z was 6 plus 2A. Oh. iz, which I worked out up here to be minus 2 plus 6a, which seems right because your real bit is minus 2. I'm over here in this axis, say minus 2, and 6 up. And 0, as shown in the diagram below. z and iz are the endpoints of a diameter. Now once they tell you that, that means if I work out the distance between them, I can get the radius by dividing the diameter by 2. Find the area of the circle in terms of pi, and the area of the circle is pi r squared. There's space in the next page. Now, as I said there, if they're the endpoints of the diameter, to work out the radius there, what I must do is find the distance between 6 plus 2a and minus 2 plus 6a. 
Now, that's going to be the same distance as if I took that to be a normal point, normal Cartesian coordinate, in which I said this was 6, 2, and this was minus 2, 6. And there's different ways to do this. But that's the way I would work. Don't complicate it with the eyes. You know, take it as the point. It's going to be the same distance regardless. So I'm going to work out the distance between minus 2, 6 and 6, 2. Just leaving the eyes out. Label me points. X1, Y1. X2, Y2. Now throw that into your A distance formula. X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. And horse all these values in. Jeez, it didn't give me much room here. X2, 6 minus, minus 2 squared plus Y2, 2 minus 6 squared. Now you can throw that all into your calculator there. You get 6 minus minus 2 is 8 squared, which is th or 64 plus um, 16, which is the square root of 80, which we had up here actually because it's Z minus IZ, but we'll not worry about that. So you get the square root of 80. Or if you put it in your calculator, you'll get a different version. Don't be panicked. It's the same as 4 root 5. You know, they're both the same. So that's my distance. My diameter is the square root of 80. We've got to work out the radius. So what we've got to do with that is divide by 2. So therefore my radius is equal to root 80 over 2, or 4 root 5 over 2, whatever way you wish. Which is the same as 2 root 5. Now the area now is pi r squared, pi times root 80 over 2 squared. And just it says leave it in terms of pi. So all I'm going to do is Work out the root 80 over 2 squared. I get 20. And then I have a wee pi on the end of that. So 20 pi square units. And then the last one here in complex numbers. Root 3 minus i to the power of 9 can be written in this form. Now I could multiply that out 9 times. It would take me forever. But it does say here, use the Moivre's theorem. And if you open up your formula book at the Moivre's theorem, it says it's r cos theta plus i sine theta. So the Moivre's theorem makes it a lot easier of working out these powers. So it puts the power onto the modulus. So we're working with the power of 9. So it's going to be the modulus to the power of 9 cos 9 times the angle of the argument of i sine 9 times the angle. So you'll see that in your formula book yourself in terms of n. Now, when we're doing this, the thing that we always work with, or what I work with, is my unit circle. My cast circle, or if another teacher friend there, he says, sex and the city. He's from Mayo. You wouldn't guess it with that accent there. So, C-A-S-T. Cos, all, sine, and tan. Now, where is root 3 minus i? So, root 3 is over here, somewhere on this positive real axis. Minus i brings it down, so we're in the cos section. And then there it's 360 minus a, which is 360 minus theta. It's 360 minus the angle. So the first thing I'm going to do for the Moivre's theorem is work with the modulus. And we've used this formula before, a squared plus b squared. So my a is root 3 plus my b, what numbers in front of that, is a 1. You can put that all in your calculator. And you get 3 squared is 9. Oh no, sorry, the square root of 3 squared is 3, plus 1 is 4, which is 2. If you're unsure, type it as you see it, the square root bracket, square root of 3, get out of that square root squared, plus, and it's always a plus, don't worry about the minus, you always add them together, you get your 2. It's a skill in itself, putting it into the calculator. Then to work out the angle, it's tan inverse, imaginary over the real. So my imaginary is 1, ignore the minus sign, that minus is just telling me what quadrant it's in, over the real, root 3. Now make sure our calculator is in degrees, and I can see that with the D there. So shift, tan, fraction, 1 over root 3, we get 30 degrees. Now it's not 30 degrees when it's in there, it's some angle between 270 and 360. It's 360 minus 30, which is 330 degrees. Now when I put that back into my De Moivre, my r cos theta plus i sine theta, 
that becomes 2 cos 330 plus a sine 330. And then the final thing is stick on my power of 9 like I have up there. So it's 2 to the power of 9, 330 times 9, 2970. And then work out each of those. I wouldn't be great at 2 to the powers of 9s now to be honest. 512 cos 2970 is 0 plus sine 2970 1i. And I multiply that out, I get 512 plus 512i. Oh, sorry, 0. Five. Anytime I get cocky, I make wee mistakes. 0 plus 512i. My A is 0. I may be is 512.